Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have found another new popular MCP server and its name is Claude Taskmaster and it will help you to build any kind of project more efficiently. Normally what happens that when we build any project, we give the simple instruction to the cursor or windsor or VS code that I want to build this this and please execute it. But if we use this Claude Taskmaster, then it will build that project with a more detailed planning, more step by step procedure so that we can get the best output. So stay with me till the end. I will show you the step by step procedure and this video might be a little bit lengthy. But believe me guys, after watching this video, you will be able to build any kind of project more efficiently. And also in this video, I will show you the step by step procedure with Winesar, with Cursor and also with VS Code. Okay, so the link is given in the description box. This is the GitHub repository link. You will find this page and uh, scroll down below and here you see that Taskmaster it is written and here you will find this option one and below you will find this option two. But I will recommend you to use the option one and in that case you don't have to uh, write any comment so if you go for this option two here you see that you have to install it globally but for this option one you have to just copy the mcp server and paste it in your vs code cursor or windsor so just let me copy this mcp server and let me open it in vs code by the way in vs code i will use it with the copilot because it is completely free guys and here you see that on the left hand side you will find this extension just write the copilot and if you have not already installed it just install it and for the step by step video uh, information here you see that this is the video vs code agent plus mcp so please watch this video guys you will get an idea that how to do the setup now what you will do just open the vs code settings so on the left hand side open the settings and after that follow my cursor open this settings in json format and here you see that i have already did the setup for this context 7 if you have not watched that video for the context 7 then please watch this video context 7 is actually helpful when you are building any project with the updated information this was also an mcp now after this context 7 let me paste it here okay now I have already written this MCP and servers. So for that, I will some simply just copy the task master part. Okay. Copy this and uh, paste it here. Okay. Now what I will do, uh, I will simply close this and on the right hand side, you will find this all of these tools. And here you see that uh, this task master you will find. Okay. Here you see that MCP server task master AI, like get task, set task, uh, update task, this kind of tools you will find. Okay. Now what I'll do, uh, I'll simply go to this chat. Okay. And here, let me close these settings also. And here, I will just paste one prompt. So this prompt is given in the description box. There are three uh, things you have to paste and the first one is the prompt. So just copy this prompt and paste it here. Now here I have written some important information. Just see it carefully guys that uh, what I have written that I want to build a Reddit clone website and I want this this feature. Now after that I have written that create product requirements document the same short form is the prd and store it inside the prd.txt why it is required because when you are building a project you need a product requirements document so that i can create the task for it okay so when i will execute it you will understand on the left hand side you see that inside this uh, folder there is nothing but when i will execute it uh, you will see that one prd.txt file will be created by the way here you see that i have selected this agent mode and this gpt 4.1 i have already uh, made a video on this gpt 4.1 that it is completely free in vs code currently okay so just use it place enter and just wait for some time 
here you see that it is reading the folder and here you see that uh, I got this prd.txt and inside this prd.txt they have written a detailed explanation of the project here you see that product requirement is build a fully responsive interactive reddit clone this is my goal this is my feature and here you see that uh, these are the subreddits post details and voting system commenting system so normally <clears throat> if you go to this reddit also here if you are familiar with this uh, reddit then you know that there are some groups and subgroups are there and there you can continue the conversation and also you will find this upvote and downvote features so this prd.txt also includes all of these features here you see that success criteria and stretch goals all of these things it has included and technical requirements what are the needed in CSS and JavaScript and for the react we need this state management Redux, context API all of these things okay so now I will move to our next uh, step which is now use the task master to parse the prd.txt here you see that this is the second step so I will copy these things and uh, I will paste it here okay and uh, now if I press enter you will see that uh, it is doing the API request and uh, run initialize project now why this is working because we have already used our MCPI server right so now if I again show you inside these settings we have already pasted our code here you see tax master AI so due to this uh, MCP server this continue this run initialize project these things is coming here here you see okay so now if I click on this continue now here you see that taskmaster is uh, running this parse prd click on this continue now here you will may get an error here you see that there was an authentication issue while trying this parse prd.txt why because we have to do some configuration so for that here you see that uh, in this settings.json where you pasted this mcp server code there you need this anthropic api key now here you make ask one question that is this taskmaster only support this anthropic cloud api key yes currently they support only the anthropic api key but here you see that yesterday the developer of this taskmaster uh, announced that they uh, soon give the support of this gemini from google and it will be published in the next release okay and they will uh, give the next release after one week and also if you want to know that what about open router here you see that currently there is already a pull request for this feature add open router integration to cloud taskmaster and they will soon integrate or they will add this open router integration also in their next release that is why i am recommending to use this otherwise uh, if you want to use this cloud for this taskmaster then i hope you will get the best task output i will recommend you to generate only the task part using this uh, entropy cloud 3.7 sonnet uh, after that when you will get the task list then you can use the any other models like you can use the coin or you can use the gemini 2.5 pro it is your choice but only for this task purpose I recommend you to use this anthropic API key so that you can get the best task list. Now to get this anthropic API key, uh, go to this um, console.anthropic.com and here under this API key on the left hand side, you will find this API key. So here create one and remember one thing that uh, to get this API key working, uh, you have to uh, just put $5 this is the minimum amount in your account and after that this api key will work so i have already uh, this api key so let me copy that that you see that this is my api key so just copy it and uh, paste it here okay now let me save it and now let me again run the same thing like now use taskmaster to parse the prd.txt and paste it and press enter okay 
now you will see that it will start working so again continue and on the left hand side you see that uh, i got this task folder and this scripts and here you see that task master has successfully parsed prd.txt and generated 10 initial tasks for your reddit clone project these tasks are now available in tasks.json and if i go to on the left side and uh, open this task here you see that we have this 10 task now if i open all of these tasks here here you see the task id 1 this is the project setup and configuration status is pending and after that this is the second task this is third and if i go for this last task here you see that stretch goals and final polishing so that means the prt.txt that i already given to this task master it has defined us for a, that uh, what tasks to be performed when okay because sometimes what happens that uh, if we normally give the commands to this ai editor then it performs uh, the third task before the second task okay in that case we sometimes may face issue but if we have this task master list now i can tell this um, agent this ai agent that please follow this task folder there is already all of these tasks and please proceed for this uh, project now in this way you can continue your project and you will get the best output from your project so i hope you got the point and uh, for this open router and this gemini support please wait for one to two weeks and within that time they will surely release that because here you see that today is april 30 uh, but some days ago means the three days ago on april 27 uh, this developer of this tax master told us that gemini support is ready to go should be in next release okay so we have to just wait for one two or two week and if you want to do it the same thing in wine serve also then uh, here you see that there is a wine serve mcp server option follow my cursor here is a mcp server so just click on it and after that on the right hand side you will find this configure option follow my cursor so click on this configure and here paste the same thing like uh, we copied from that official github repository so there was this code okay and paste it there so let me copy it from this vs code because i have already done the setup and uh, let me copy this thing and let me go to this wine sub and here after this context 7 i will paste it and if i save this file and after that on the right hand side beside configure we have this replace button click on this and here you will see that under this context 7 we have this task master ai 23 tools are available to use and in the same way here in this chat option or this uh, ask anything option here just uh, paste these three prompts okay so paste two prompts first one is this the project that you want to build and after that just write this thing that create a prd.txt and uh, just make it and second one is this use the task master to parse the prd.txt now when you will get all of the tasks then ask it that follow the task folder inside that we have all of the tasks and execute it one by one now it will follow that and it will do all of these things and the procedure is same for the cursor also and i hope you got the point and here you see that this is our channel i already made a video on this queen 3 and it was an amazing model that was published two days ago by queen and if you have not watched this video till now please watch because there are details uh, in detail discussed about this queen 3 with the uh, other model comparison and also this client 4.0 update please watch this also you will get a huge knowledge from this video that uh, sometimes we face the problem regarding this context window gets full and if you watch this video then you will get a help okay and also this tray point tray 2.0 update where you will get all of the models for free 
with the free mcp free agents custom agents some rules details will explain in this video so i hope this video is helpful for you guys please don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also if you found helpful see you guys in the next video thanks for watching